What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Borderlands 3 video and today we're going to take a little bit of information from the Borderlands website, uh, more about the game going forward and so forth, the story, the family and eight unique weapon manufacturers which we're gonna do well, that's, that's, that's gonna be the main point of today's video we're gonna take a look at how these weapons differ and how they are unique to each manufacturer but before we go any further guys if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by smashing that like button now this information is thanks to the borderlands website which you will find linked within the video description also so you can see on the screen now discover the borderlands at the hard edge of the galaxy lies a group of planets ruthlessly exploited by militarized corporations brimming with loot and violence this is your home the borderlands so you want to hear a story answering the call of the siren champion lilith four vault hunters charge headfirst into a spray of bullets blood and bandits to cover a map to ancient vaults and prevent a universe destroying power from falling into the wrong hands the rest is history now if you want to click to the timeline and read through past borderlands storylines and so forth you can go to the website and do that yourself if you want meet the family fearless renegade mercenaries on the wildest interplanetary treasure hunt of all time flak is a wandering robotic trucker whose cold steel heart warms only for their pet beasts Amara beats bad guys into pancakes with her psychic fists. Moses' best friend is a 10 ton walking killing machine. And Zane, the semi retired corporate hitman. Well, he's Zane. Cool. Hunting alone, it states. Score, recruit fellow vault hunters regardless of your respective levels. And defeat their calypsos with guns, teamwork, more guns, and the power of friendship. If you click no, it states. No problem, shoot and loot your way through their borderlands, discovering the region's untold stories and piling high your increasingly deadly cache of goodies and weapons. Now moving on to brand loyalty. Corporations vie for control of the borderlands through military force. Their currency, weapons, their trade, death, each manufacturer specializes in a different delivery method. First up we have Mali Wan. Toggle between two elements, charge your weapon and deal guaranteed elemental damage with your finger glued to the trigger. That sounds pretty cool people. Next we have Jacobs. Deliver devastating critical hits to enemies, soft and sensitives. Then joy puke as your bullets ricochet towards other targets. Pretty cool. Next up we have TDR. Toss your gun like a grenade to reload. Then watch it pursue a nearby enemy as a fully loaded version destructs in your hand. Next up we have Torg. Switch between regular and sticky projectile fire modes. Stickies do more damage if a bunch of them detonate on the same target. Sound epic? And you will notice how unique these weapons are to each manufacturer. Next up we have Hyperion. Aim down the sights to take cover behind your weapon's mounted shield and keep your finger on the trigger for increased accuracy. Wow, they look incredible, people! Next up, we have Atlas. Step one, hit your enemies with tracker tags. Step two, unleash a hail of smart bullets that track towards your target. Step three, loot. Again, guys, look how amazing these weapons are! Next up, we have Dahl. Toggle between ultimate fire modes, depending on your player style, your predicament, and your predilection for damage bonus. And last up, we have Fledarf. Augment these rapid firing ammo hungry guns with under barrel attachments including tasers, rocket tubes and additional gun barrels. And wow they look so so badass it's unbelievable people. But yeah guys those are the 8 weapon manufacturers within Borderlands 3. It may behold more, we do not know yet. Now as soon as any more information does drop on the game people, obviously I will have you covered right here on my channel. Another thing that people are speculating about is if you look on the Xbox store for Borderlands 3 if you want to pre-order it, it does state cross-platform co-op. Now a lot of people are speculating whether this means Xbox and PlayStation, I'm not sure it does people. I mean we've seen plenty of cross-platform play games before and it's normally Xbox and PC or PlayStation and PC. It's never really PlayStation and Xbox. As amazing as that would be, I'm just not sure it's going to happen. But we will see people, we will see. 
But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. Just a quick video updating you guys on the latest news around in the game. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and this is what you want to see more of, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.